Hotel Kitty Stare and I'm doing a quick review of the Color Riche Balm by L'Oreal SPF 15 and I just purchased one because I have a lot of lip balms and as soon as it, I saw this it said balm I kind of more or less knew it was not really, really going to be a lipstick it was going to be more of a balm and so I just wanted to purchase one just to see what it was about you know I was kind of curious and I purchased this in Rose Elixir and it looks like that and it, if you, it's kind of deceiving a little bit because when you look at it it looks like it's going to be full of color it really does look like it has a lot of color in it but I'm going to go ahead and swatch it when you swatch it here and I'm swatching it quite a bit there's hardly any color on it at all and it definitely is more of a balm rather than uh, a lipstick like say the Revlon lip butters those are lipsticks that have a very moisturizing um, formula this is definitely a balm with a very slight tint of color barely their color and um, I've been using this for a while and um, I mainly use this just for a little you know lip moisturizing and maybe a little tint of color but when I put it on my lips which are naturally like a natural color it doesn't show up at all on my lips it kind of just makes my lips look really shiny and it is a glossy kind of a glossy formula now I'm gonna go ahead and read off of what L'Oreal has to say about this balm here it says uh, this tinted SPF 15 lip balm provides a hint of luscious kissable color smoothing lips instantly for a full eight hours of continuous hydration lips are softer and more supple all day long and keeps conditioning even after it's been removed. So, um, now I only have one color, so I don't know if the other shades are more um, color tinted than this, but I'm assuming they're not because the way it looks on here, it looks like it's going to have a lot of color the way it looks here, but it really, like I said, does not have much color. So I'm assuming the other ones are kind of the same way. Um, now, I do have some pros and cons. Um, the pros are that it is very moisturizing and kind of smells like cotton candy. It has a beautiful cotton candy scent. I don't know what the other ones smell like, but this one smells like cotton candy. And I love cotton candy, so that sold me right there. I was just like, oh, you know. <laughs> um, it does taste kind of like the Soft Lips lip balm. I don't know if y'all tried those. It tastes like that. It has that really um, kind of just different taste, almost coconutty in a way and minty kind of. Uh, it tastes really nice. I like it. Um, I like the way it smells. It's just very overall pleasing. And then when you put it on your lips, it does moisturize them more so than your average lip balm, say like EOS, Burt's Bees, and even soft lips. And it does leave a glossy finish on your lips. And you can actually see it, um, the glossiness on your lips. So in a way, it's kind of a balm slash gloss, I would say. And um, it is very moisturizing. And I have to agree with L'Oreal. Um, it did continue to moisturize my lips. Even after eight hours, my lips have been noticeably more softer, not as dry. And it probably, the formula itself, probably last maybe like, you know, as with all lip products, probably like a couple hours and then it'll start to fade. And But it'll still keep your lips moisturized, which is what I like. So I would say this is basically like a high-end lip balm and they retail for $7.99. I think I paid for them. Uh, so is it worth it? I would say yes because they moisturize way better than your average lip balm. So if you're willing to pay $7.99 for a high-end lip balm, I would definitely go ahead and invest in it. Um, it does hydrate the lips. It almost kind of enhances them also because it makes your lips a little bit plumper because of the moisture that it that it provides for you. Um, some cons of it. I was a little ups, uh, disappointed in the fact that it didn't have much color. That's about all the color it provides. I wanted to see a little bit more color in this. That's the only downside to it that I have to say. Uh, the only con I have. So not too many 
Um, but yeah, overall I would say this is a really nice product. And I would repurchase it again. Um, but I wouldn't repurchase, like I said, a whole handful of them. Because, I mean, I would just maybe keep like one. And then when it runs out, I'll go maybe purchase another one. So yeah, that's my little quick review of the Colorish Balm. So thanks for watching. I'll go ahead and let y'all go. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Take care. Bye.